hey everybody, it's Overkill here with episode 5 of the Total War Three Kingdoms, 8 Princes, Sima Liang? I think, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's his name. Uh, Sima Liang, yes, I always get him and Sima Jiang messed up. Um, yeah, welcome back to the series. Um, in the last episode you've seen was we started our episode with Sima Ying, uh, and crushed his armies at Baxi, or Baxi, whatever it is. Um, and we let, we spared him, let him run away. Uh, we're just gonna see what he does. Uh, and yeah, what what was the plan here? It's been a couple of days. Uh, Simizhu is marching this way, so that's good. So he'll be striking uh, Chengdu in the salt mine. Well, Chengdu in general, I guess. Jeez, this is a four uh, four settlement uh, commandery. Nice. I don't even think I'll be able to take that. I can have twelve. I think this is my ninth or something like that, so we'll have to see. Ooh. Uh, we don't have that much food. Yeah, I, I can't do that. Okay. What I could do is that. Oh, industry's only 15% here. But it's like all the money. Two fifty from commerce. What's what else is making me commerce? Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's the two fifty. Yeah. Well, no. This is one forty. So okay. This is making me some as well. Ugh. Brain was broken by the math for a second for some reason. I need more food. But we have a uh, farmland and shit here with Chengdu, so that's perfect. Uh, let's end the turn. He wants to be my vassal, but I might as well get one of the. I might as well get rid of one of the seven other princes. While I have the opportunity, I might as well. I could even give. Uh, I want. I want all of this commandery though, so never mind. Oh, Sean, you declared war on Sima Ying. Everybody's declaring war on Sima Ying. Okay. Uh, so he'll get to here first, and then I guess he could take this while Sima Liang takes these. Yeah, that works. Oh. Can't quite attack him again this turn. That's fine. Uh, I have lots of money. Let's get some cataphracts. There we go. So now we have two units of those. I could replace all of them. Hmm. It's actually a hard decision. Ooh, I can get heavy spear guards. A little bit more, obviously. It was resistant to fatigue. Oh. Is that just from him though? Or from someone? I can't remember where I would see that. Okay. Fuck's sakes, it's hard to... Yeah, he just gives his retinue fatigue resistance, so that's, yeah. That's nothing special with just that. I do have the money to replace all of them. We can't really do anything with our towns because we don't have any food, so... You know what? Let's do it. Yeah, it's not showing all the bonuses that they'll also get, so it's hard. It's hard to uh, look at the stats out here because it's saying that these would be worse than my spear guards at the moment. But that's because it's not counting all of their uh, nice bonuses from Sima Liang himself. Sima Lun would possibly become my vassal. That's interesting. For the time being, let's get some non-aggression. Oh, wow, we. You really want that. 
You're at war with the Jin. Um. Hmm. You got any ancillaries? Ooh. Ooh! That's very nice. I'll take that, I think. Hell yeah. Um. I don't want him to be my vassal because that could drag me into war with the Jin. How much would we be able to get over a few turns? Okay. Fuck sakes. There we go. <laughs> Let's get 331. I'm fine with that. Uh, and then who are all these other people? We got Sima Yan, who I can't see. Is it this guy? No. Well, he's over here somewhere. Sima Jian, who I also can't see. And Gu Zhen, who I can see. Uh, yeah, I'm not really too worried. Everybody wants military access, but no. Okay, everybody's been moved. Uh, yeah, we don't have the money. Never mind. Let's end the turn. Oh, hello! Uh... I would definitely accept this, but my infantry are in a bit of a sorry state. But his army isn't too well off either. But the other one is looking pretty good. I'm gonna retreat, and if they don't follow up, they don't. Okay, perfect. So now their forces are gonna spread out, this is great. Uh, Sima Yue wants my wooden ox for 957 gold. Uh, I mean, not a bad offer, but I'd rather use it for bartering. I'm sure you understand. So yeah, we get our replenishment. Oh, Sima Lun and Sima Yong are now military allies. Interesting. Oh, Sima Ai is at war with his brother now. He got called in. So we gotta get in here quick before the AI start sending armies down here to take stuff. So yeah, I, th I feel like the force, is in a, yeah, the force is in a lot better shape now. And all of our characters are on full health, which will help a lot as well. Yeah, I just have random food buildings built everywhere. Um, let's let's get some food from someone who has a lot. You have a nice bit. I don't know what they're actually. Not very good with Chinese. Ooh, Bai Jin. Give. Uh. I mean, give me a bunch. Uh, wonder what I could get away with with this. That's quite expensive. Well, actually, it's not that bad. I'll take that deal. We just got to make sure we stay on top of this stuff. And I remember that I'm actually getting food from other people. But that allows us to upgrade some cities. Which, right now, would be... This one would be the best, I think. Alright, everybody moved. I think, yeah, we do have this third force here. That's this guy. He's just there for defense, basically. It's where... See, eh. Where both of these guys are uh, over here on campaign. It is nice to have this guy here, just in case. We can quickly put a couple of extra retinues on him. Okay, we might have to go back to fight him. I don't want to lose my livestock farm after, you know, 
just talking about how food is not in a good position. Zhang Zhang Li, who are you? Uh, oh, you're this person. Uh, sure. Why not? Maybe we can uh, vassalize them later. Sima Jian declared war on Sima Jiang. Okay. Alright, we're almost at the salt mine. Oh, I actually won't be able to get to him. His army is very weak. What's the garrison here? It's okay, it's actually very good. So I'm not really too worried about this anymore then. Because, yeah, his army is in terrible shape, and if they attack this, um, they'll get absolutely shredded. So, oh, he could force march down here, though, and then... Okay, they haven't recruited any new units, I don't think, so never mind, I don't care. Uh, no, we still can't take it, so we'll just continue. And maybe they'll come out to fight us, that would be nice. So, yeah, we've got Sima Ying in kind of a shitty situation. Okay, so Zhang, Zhang Li would not actually become our vassal. That kind of sucks. So Sima Qi is a maybe. How much of a maybe? Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty... Uh, that's quite a lot to get him to. So we'll pass on that. And instead end another turn. And he decided to not attack me. Okay. Probably for the best. The Jin Empire wants to join our coalition. <laughs> Everybody said a big fat no to that. You want to go to war with Gu Zhen. Or Zhu Shen. Who's this guy? Oh, that guy there. This is Mao Ren asking? Is Okay, he's there. It's a very random war you want for 699. What if he's able to invade and kill Fan Guan? I don't want that. Uh, I mean, keep him happy. It's not like it's someone that will really be fighting. Sure, why not? Get yeah, a little bit of extra money. The tiniest extra. Sima Yong vassalized Ju Kao. All right. Got a new uh, reform. Nice. A matter of respect. Oh, the Empress's nephew. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so we can get spirit, might, and mind. Might would be my the one I would want, but all these are pretty shit. Wowee. Hmm. See I kinda want that might. It's five turns of negative prestige in diplomatic relations, but I want it. We can counteract that. Okay, he can't make it in one turn. But there's no point to keep him in Force March anyway. Uh, they're not going to take attrition for another few turns, actually. Well, we'll just continue the siege, I suppose. Until they do. And while that's going on, while we have this army pinned... We'll just take their stuff. After uh, after Sima Ju takes this, he'll definitely march on the farmland and encounter uh, Sima Ying. I think that's the smartest thing to do. Impeccable. Oh, too bad that's <laughs> useless. Ancillary characters. Okay. Yes, our reform. What... 
do I want? Maybe this? And yeah, you're not building anything, that's fine, I don't really mind. Oh. They require a few things. Need iron and salt. Well, we're about to get salt. I thought we would have had an iron mine, but apparently not. Is there one I could buy? Probably not. I don't think there's any touching my territory. Copper mine. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, that's an armor's craftsman, not a mine. Yeah, we definitely want to get these resources so we can make this because this is an awesome building. Um, but instead, we'll just go with this, I suppose. point to upgrade that. Uh, and it's turn. So where is Sima Ying going? Okay, he's just running around. He doesn't know what to do. Jin, what are you doing? Moving lots of armies around. Good lord. Good lord! Three around Luo Yang. I don't like that. You want to go to war with Sima Yan. The guy I can't see. Uh, which one is this? That's this guy. Oh, look at him. Oh, wait. Is this the same guy? Yeah, it is. Nice. Look at you expanding. Um, so that will make Ruan Shen and Sima Chi upset. Who I don't think I give a shit about. Oh, is Ruan Shen? Oh, that is my vassal. Okay, he doesn't want me to do that. Uh, this time I will say no. Alright. The other Simaway has gone to war. We got another son coming of age. Nice. Ooh. <clears throat> no, just spend the hundred. All right, let's take the salt mine. Thank you very much. I could have fought that, I suppose, but. It would have just been a turkey shoot, them running out of the settlement. So, we didn't miss much, I don't think. Oh, I don't have anything on this lady. Oh, that's because I don't have anything to give her. Jesus. I really don't. Wowee. Uh, yes, we should get this on someone. We should get this on, uh... He's 72 years old. Jesus Christ, maybe I shouldn't. If he dies of old age, do I lose this? It's my only concern. I can give it to this guy, I suppose. Just a little bit better than what he's using. This guy's 59, my fuck. I didn't realize all my guys were so old. Let's get his stats up. I mean, yeah, he kind of needs these stats. His resolve is already almost max. That's insane. Um, so yeah, I think we might give it to this guy. I could also give it to him, I suppose. But he's also 52. Good lord, everybody's old. Yeah, let's get let's let's give it to this guy. Uh, it'd be nice if these guys fought me, but we don't really have the the troops to take it ourselves. 
I wish you would make up your mind, Sima Ying, on what you're doing. Oh! Well, shit, okay, there we go. Apparently we can, uh, we can get it. Okay. Well, well, well. I think we'll do a bit of that, then. That will help with our income quite a lot. Yeah, okay, you're not building anything, that's fine. Yeah, he doesn't really know what to do. It's like he came up here thinking he could take this, and then he was like, Oh, they have way too much stuff. That's a lot of money for military access. Wow. You're starting to not like me. Ah, uh, sure. Actually, that pissed off a lot of people, I think. Whoops. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll take that money. Good lord. I don't plan on going to war with them soon, so... Well, hopefully not, anyway. Charismatic versus Solitary. So I can make my son like me a bit more, or this lady, who's in another army. Uh, might as well make my son like me, I suppose. Then next turn we'll take that farmland. They're finally going to start taking attrition, so maybe they'll attack me. That would be nice. but I wouldn't count on it. Let's see, though. Hopefully they do. Okay, he is chasing after his brother. Da fine and dandy. Non-aggression pack from Sima Jian. Who I can't see. Uh, sure. I can't even see him, so might as well. So he didn't come out to attack me. Fuck! Ancillary. Nice. So yeah, they're just they're just gonna let themselves die. That's fine. Um, let's let's fight the battle at the farmland then instead. It's still it's a decisive victory, so like it's not gonna be anything super uh, crazy entertaining. But maybe we'll get a laugh out of watching them run out of their settlement and getting blown up. Okay, they're just saying random things to each other that aren't, that don't seem related at all. That's nice. So nothing too interesting to read. Womp womp. Come on. There we go. Alrighty. This seems like a good place to attack. There's only these one, this one set of towers. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just get everything over here. I think that's everything. Let's go. They, uh, not gonna run out to me. Oh, maybe not. In that case, fire at that blob of two units of archers then. Well, sir, yeah, they're really not going to come out to, to fight me. I'm not really too concerned about the towers, since we have a bunch of guys in shield wall. Or with shield wall, rather. Ooh, I am concerned about the fact that we're not really killing any of these guys.
maybe tell them to kind of target like right in front of the unit. Because good lord, you guys are doing oh, 138 kills. Never mind, but still not great. I mean, this unit's in one big block. Yeah, okay. Big waste of shots. I'm gonna tell them to actually cease fire after this volley. Oh, they're moving for some reason. What the fuck? What are you moving for? Fuck off! Yeah, I'm gonna get them to stop firing. What a waste. 189 kills, but... Very spread out. Lots of shots did not really hit. Alright, well, let's get the shield walled boys. Let's get two units moving up, actually. Yeah, just march up right to the gate. Or right to the entrance point, I suppose. Yeah, so it's not as effective. Oh, they ha they do have turtle. Oh shit, yeah, we'll get into turtle then, boys. That's a lot better. Alright. And let's get all these boys up here. They only have shield wall, so. Uh, I suppose what we should do is fire at their archers. Well, we shredded that unit. Okay, that works. Get in there, boys. Just hold steady, basically. All right. Oh, a little bit of uh, stutter. That's nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, if you could target that unit, that'd be awesome. Oh, there. Wow, we. That is interesting. Uh, pathfinding, I suppose. Oh, the trebuchets are out of ammo. Okay. Yeah, you guys are really. <laughs> These guys are on crack or something, the way they're running around. Oh, it's because walking on these... These rice paddies, I suppose? Or, well, it's no, it's just a farm. Okay. It's kind of messing up the uh, positioning and stuff. So yeah, they're just creating a crossfire. They're just absolutely shredding everybody in here. Beautiful. Yeah, they're getting absolutely shredded. Now it's just a case of fighting these last few units. Oh, they actually do have a few left. Okay.
They shouldn't last too long in combat against these guys. Oh, I kind of just left these guys here. Hey, get some more experience killing those guys. Perfect. Oh, they're out of ammo. Okay. Yeah, get out of this and run after them. Oh, and it's over anyway. Perfect! See, I expected them to run out to me. That was a bit strange. But there we go. Just in case the other army doesn't even bother fighting us, we got a... As mediocre of a battle as it was, we got a battle. Trebuchets ended up getting 310 after. Very nice. Cool. Occupy. More food for us. And yeah, we actually don't even have to worry about our domain limit because we're going to get into the next one anyway before we finish off all this stuff, so that's perfect. So yeah, we just have to wait for these guys to die off, basically, and then when this uh, city is taken, we just have the armor craftsmen, and then we, uh, we control Chengdu, which will have our... Uh, lands split a little tiny bit. But we have to annex Sim away anyway uh, to win eventually. So that'll bridge our lands together nicely. I mean, obviously there's a divide here but we can fix that eventually as well. Perfect. Not that it really matters anyway. I can just walk through anybody else's territory. It doesn't matter. I can walk through my vassals, rather. And it doesn't matter. Uh, so we are at... Very low supplies. But we might We might be able to win through auto resolve or something before that happens. Who knows? We'll see. All I know is I don't want to take attrition. That would suck. Oh here we go. So it's still it, it's expecting a valiant defeat, but we are in the field. So well we are obviously gonna fight this as well. Well, I guess I didn't have to fight that last one, but oh well. Insects. Wash them away in righteous deluge. Alright. Ooh. Okay, and we actually get a pretty clear part of the map over here. That's nice. So no flanking will be happening here, that's for sure. We have a level 8 trebuchet, that'll be very, uh, very useful. Alright. So the only cover they'll really get is here. Um, for my trebuchets, that is, but once they get through here, I mean, my min my max range on my archers and, cr and crossbows is only here anyway, so. They're gonna be running into a nice hail of, uh, missile fire. That's for sure. I don't really know where they'll be. Flames of the Phoenix doesn't have uh, whatever the morale one is. That would have been nice. But he'll be able to do a nice bit of damage with his uh, Flames of the Phoenix. So, Or that is what that's called, right? Yes. So I still can't see them. So they're still in that forest. Oh, there they are. Enemy spotted. I 
Yeah, they have a lot of infantry. A lot of infantry. But, we got this. The only problem is they don't really have anyone that will duel, which kind of sucks. These units are moving, but these ones aren't. Interesting. Okay. Splitting up the army. I'm a fan of it. Oh, I don't want you to fire at those, uh... Well. Got a couple hits. Okay, their, their, their army is kind of uh, all messed up now from wanting to chase after my generals. Here they come. Uh, yeah, I'll take that duel. See how much damage he can do just to these guys. Uh, not very much, because he didn't jump. Sick. Hello, enemy cavalry. Uh, let's get guard mode, please. Oh, and also don't run away. That messes everything up. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, let's get him after the archers. What am I? What am I doing? We also don't have these units moving. Whoopsies. Uh, these units are winning their fights very easily. They're actually like destroying the enemy. Very nice. Nice! Okay, get in after these archers right now. I'm gonna try to get it to fire there and see if, uh... See if any uh, bad friendly fire happens. That would kind of suck. Actually, yeah. Instead of going after these guys, cataphracts just oh, very nice. That's kind of what I wanted to happen. Just a, yeah, that's that's basically exactly what I wanted. Very nice. Oh, that's working beautifully. Okay. But now I'm gonna get them to stop that so I can rear charge. And uh, there we go. There goes the enemy's uh, flank very easily. Beautiful. Good job, boys. No! Almost killing my own cavalry. Oh, there's one unit, okay. So that didn't work great. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah, they still have a nice few units that we actually have to get rid of, so let's get our cavalry back over here. Whoops. I was just getting I was just getting right into the cleanup of everything, but 
Yeah, they actually have a nice bit left. But it is basically over. Yeah. I suppose I should get him back. Get these cavalry back. Yeah, there we go. They're all starting to run. Slaughtered. Nice. We did it. And we didn't lose that many men, which is very nice. Now we just finish off the last few poor souls that didn't get away. Cataphracts, of course, did very well. <laughs> Proud of them. Uh, well, there's a lot of units over here. Oh, they're all very small, though. So maybe just grab those crossbows and then that's it. This G militia would be nice to kill as well, actually. Nice, we caught up to those G. I was gonna say, apparently my vanguard doesn't want to kill them, but there we go. He is now. And these crossbows are about to be caught. We literally only have to kill, like, yep, yeah, there we go. A handful. Alright, cool. So they have, um, less than 400 men. Perfect. This unit of cavalry I definitely wasted. They charged after, I think, one unit and then chased them the entire battle. Whoopsies. But they obviously weren't needed. 650 losses. I'll take my replenishment back. Oh, I should have took military supplies. What am I doing? I'll be able to take it this turn anyway. But, whoops. Well, actually, if... If it wasn't enough to make me... St I've actually never run out of supply, so I don't know what happens. Sima Yan is dead. Okay, so we will start taking attrition. Oh! Sima Ying came back. He got transferred over here right before. Okay, well, I mean, goodbye. You're dead. Well, not dead. Garrison games. I don't care about the garrison replenishment. I do like that. And he, this guy leveled up again. Let's get that wisdom of the river, shall we? So now he's going to be an unstoppable strategist. And now all we have left is the armor craftsman. Perfect. And we are into the next level, I think. Yeah. No, not yet. We're going to be next turn. Okay, well. Whatever. Trustworthy. Nice. I betrayed and abandoned them. Who the hell is that? Is it someone from his... It must have been someone from his faction. Iron Snake. People that I don't really care about. Alright. Uh, this guy. You could use an Iron Snake. Hell yeah. And some Resolve too. Why not? Take it. Ooh. I think I'll give you that, sir. Oh, that takes you out of that shit. Oh, that's fine. I do want him to do more damage. He isn't an army. 
So yeah, let's get our military supplies up just a little bit. Uh, repair all this stuff. Ooh, we have someone with the uh, income from industry assignment. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. excellent. Hell yes, you'll be going here. Perfect. We'll be making even more money. Um, and then maybe some noble support or something here. Not that it, well, I mean, they're going to be happy. Oh, there's a lot of negative faction support, so never mind. Uh, now we have a lot of options for upgrading stuff. The trade influence would be nice, but let's just upgrade it. Alright. Yeah, low military supplies. Okay. That's fine. Honestly, holy shit, that is a lot of replenishment. We won't even need that long. And then we can just march and take Chengdu. We could even do that next turn, actually, more than likely. So let's friggin' do it. Yeah, unsurprisingly, you want peace. But I might as well take you out. Just so there's one less prince to worry about. Simichi wants to join, uh, but it's already majority. Oh. Nice, a good year. So it'll make somewhere a little upset. But we'll get more money at Zhang Yang. Or I could get more wealth alignment. And actually money. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, let's do that. I didn't notice that it also gave me money. Um, We should be fine. They do have a force here. Okay. But a very bad garrison. Okay, so nothing really to worry about. We'll still be able to crush them. I don't think I'm going to upgrade this because I, I'm, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this. And instead I could put that there, I could put this here. Hmm. Jurisdiction and tribute would be nice. But I think I will put this here. Nice. But in saying that, I will definitely upgrade these. Okay, I won't spend all the money on that. Oh, we have a new reform. Great, I didn't I did not notice that. Ammunition and campaign movement range would be useful. But we are going very industry heavy it seems, so maybe we'll want to upgrade some uh upgrades for that. So I think I think Simaway is still like, "Oh, I could take this, no problem," even though my army is right next to it. Because he's just marching down here for no reason, and I'm sure as soon as I take this, he'll turn around. But we can own 18, yes. The people come first. Your advisors recommend you serve the people, and that is what you have chosen to do. Yet the other princes of Jin see this as neglect. They insist you spend more on courtly distractions. Why would I give a shit about what the other princes want? So I could get 10 spirit. Uh, 
Uh, minus 10 attitude, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Or I could get prestige and wealth. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, maybe I will. You, you, you twisted my arm. Because we're, we're very close to getting Grand Prince. We might actually even get it from this, maybe? No. Uh, um, it depends on what the building... Oh, it is an armor craftsman, so it is worth some uh, prestige. But we didn't get it. Okay, that's fine. Sima Liang leveled up. Well, what do we want him to do? We could do this for the noble support. Could do... Nah, that doesn't really matter. Uh, range block chance and unbreakable is not bad. So for his retinue, this just gives charge and negate and immune to fear just straight up on his retinue, which is very nice. We could even do this for four extra food. I didn't really think about that. This would make him an amazing duelist. Ten percent melee armor piercing damage for the whole army is nice. Let's do that. We need to get him a better horse than what he has, Jesus. But there we go. Sima Ying has been destroyed. Excellent. You know, we have a nice little chunk of territory. I don't really know who we should go after next. Um, we have a nice belt of allies down here. So maybe expand north? It's mostly Jin up here. Like, this is all Jin Empire stuff. So maybe not. And I'm friendly with this dude, lady. Yeah, we're getting to a bit of a problem now where, well, I, ha I definitely haven't expanded as big as I can, because obviously I can, you know, st there's still some territory I could take, but I'm starting to get surrounded by Jin, <laughs> which uh, means we'll definitely have to end up going to war soon. Um... There's not much I could really do here. I could upgrade some towns. Who's making me the most money other than Zhang Yang? Uh, Chang An. Okay. Not surprising with the buildings that are here. Very nice. Oh yeah, this place is making uh, commerce as well, so... Maybe I should upgrade this one. Let's do it. Uh, I have lots of money. Oh, we need to upgrade it again to get a next, another build slot. Shit. Okay. Maybe not then. Well, that kind of sucks. I didn't read that properly. Whoopsies. Um, well, just for... It's kind of a waste. It's just one extra. Because we don't have another building that boosts it. Hopefully, actually, you know what? That should dictate dictate the next place that we go, because I really, really, really need food. I could buy a province off one of my vassals, but I feel like that wouldn't go over very well. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Cause yeah, there's none I could buy from these guys. And that's a, a spice market. That's nice. I didn't know there was a spice uh, settlement down here. The only problem is we have no real way of getting here quickly because we have no access to, uh, you know, the ocean. Well, we could sail down the river, of course, and go around. But yeah, there's no way we'll ever end up next to that guy. Um, so I could just peace out with him, and he does want it. He would not become my vassal. Okay. Uh, you're poor in every regard, so do you have any ancillaries? You do. Take that. 
Okay, that's literally all you have. So, pay me whatever else you can afford, I suppose. Yeah, it won't be that bad. Yeah, we have no reason to be at war with that guy. So we're now completely at peace. No one will become my vassal. Alright. So yeah, I really need to think about where I can go next. I can just tell this lady to... F uh, I do kind of want this province. It has a farmland and a livestock farm. Yeah, I think we're going to... Did we just sign this? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we'll, ha we'll have to wait. But yeah, that's, that's going to be our next target. For sure. Um... Well then, do I leave... I shouldn't. I was going to say, do I leave him down here? Realistically, I could... I have so much money, I could... Actually recall them. And then just... Re uh... You know what, I'll do that. I have a lot of money, so let's, let's do that. Because it'll take ages to get back up here. I think I might have to wait a turn. Yeah, but then we'll be able to, yeah, we'll definitely be able to afford all of them. Uh, so let's end a turn. Hopefully nothing too unexpected happens. Okay. Bai Jin, oh, I, whoops, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I didn't give you your uh, autonomy. I don't, I don't intend to annex you, so go for it. I think that upset some of my other vassals. Maybe the ones that also don't have independence. Anyway, uh, let's get him here. Perfect. Yeah, that barely took... I mean, it did take a lot of money, but it seemed like it took nothing. Do I want... Yeah, I definitely need more infantry. Six units, uh, all in formations. Doesn't stretch that far. Oh, whoops. So let's get a couple of units to support these, uh, spear guards, shall we? And I guess realistically I could do the same with this guy, but I, ca I think I'm gonna keep him there. So he'll defend this section. We have this guy here. And we now have Simo Liang, uh, redeployed up here. Excellent. So I think that's where we're going to end this episode, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying the series, make sure you subscribe, because there's going to be more coming in the next few days. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.